officer involved shootings shootings involving Corpus Christi police officers since 2009. May 9, 2009, Sylvester Villasana, of Sinton, is shot and killed by a Corpus Christi police officer in vacant lot on the corner of Port and Dillon Avenues after leading police on a high-speed car chase and foot pursuit. Police said Villasana was holding a cell phone in one hand and an open folding knife in the other. June 19, 2009, Carlene Burleson is shot by Corpus Christi police officers after leading police on a brief pursuit from a home in the 3300 block of Jamaica Drive. Burleson got out of a vehicle and aimed a gun at officers, who shot Burleson in the hand and upper shoulder. July 25, 2011, Brian Egoloff is shot and killed by Corpus Christi police officers outside a convenience store in Flower Bluff after holding a cashier at gunpoint and later threatening officers. Police later discovered that Egoloff was holding a BB gun. The death was ruled justified. December 10, 2012, Daniel Christopher Scott is shot and killed by Corpus Christi police officers outside his home in the 1100 block of Salem Drive. Scott called 911 to report feeling threatened by his neighbors, was armed and had barricaded himself inside. Crisis negotiators spent hours trying to communicate with Scott, who eventually opened fire on officers. December 24, 2013, Michael Rosales is shot and killed by Corpus Christi police officers after receiving multiple calls about a domestic disturbance. Rosales exited a house on the 4100 block of Herndon Street with a handgun in each hand and fired at officers after being instructed to drop his weapons. February 17, 2014, Brian Robles, 30, is shot multiple times by three Corpus Christi police officers and one Portland officer after a car chase. Police say he carjacked a motorist on the 500 block of Hancock Avenue. Fired shots at North Beach then led police on a chase into Portland. No officers were injured. Robles survived and has been charged with several counts of attempted capital murder and aggravated robbery. March 20, 2014, Travis Cody McGill, 23, is shot in the chest and leg during police shooting with several Corpus Christi police officers. Police say he shot at two officers. Butno gun was seen in dashcam videos in a neighborhood near the Corpus Christi Country Club and tried to get away in a police vehicle. Two officers were injured. Magill survived and has been charged with two counts of attempted capital murder and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. November 9, 2014, a Corpus Christi police officer shot Daniel Cavanaugh, 37 after responding to a warehouse in the 2000 block of Saratoga Boulevard for a disturbance. When officers arrived they heard a woman's screams coming from the locked warehouse, police said. Assistant Chief Mike Markle said Kavanaugh opened the door to the warehouse and was seen reaching for a gun from a holster. Kavanaugh was asked to drop the weapon and when he did not comply an officer shot him twice. He recovered and was arrested on suspicion of aggravated assault against a public servant, a first degree felony. February 15, 2015 Police said Jose Hernandez, 33, show with a Corpus Christi police officer's gun after officers responded to multiple complaints of shots fired in the 4900 block of Dodie Street. According to police, Hernandez ignored the officer's command to drop his weapon and raised the weapon toward officers. No officers were injured. Hernandez is currently hospitalized and will be arrested on a warrant for attempted capital murder of a peace officer once released.